hello guys and welcome back to the channel um as you can see we are in the car because zuko's at the vet um he's here for a past injury that i was hoping was just going to go away on its own it happened about seven months ago and um he got better i mean it's not like he's had an issue for seven months he got better and he was doing fine, um, not limping or anything. He'd injured his back leg somehow, um, running, I guess, over, he overdid it. Um, and he was doing fine for months, not having any issues. And as of lately, the last couple of months, he, um, he, anytime he overexerts himself, runs, plays, uh, he'll start limping on his left uh, hind leg. And just not horrible limping, like, as you can see, he's still full of energy. He still wants to play. Uh, he still wants to roughhouse and have fun, but he doesn't put a whole lot of weight on that left back leg. So we are sitting out in the car waiting for his doctor's appointment um, because of this whole COVID thing. Unfortunately, I'm not even allowed to go inside with him, which I'm a little concerned about because he really hasn't been away from me much and I know that's not the best thing to do for a Rottweiler I understand that but again because of COVID and everything being shut down um we haven't got to do a whole lot with him um so he's pretty much just used to me and my husband and our animals and you know close friends and family that he sees but I don't know how he's going to do inside the vet without me I'm hoping he's a sweet boy and uh, doesn't give them any problems or issues. And I'm also praying that he doesn't have like a torn ACL or torn meniscus or something like that because that's worth where I am. That's like a $2,000 surgery. Um, of course, we would do everything we can for him to be happy and healthy, but that's a lot of money to be out. So um, I'm hoping it doesn't resort to that, but if it does, we will get him taken care of, so. Um, I'll keep you guys posted um, with what happens after he gets out of the veterinary office. So, we're just hanging out. Our appointment's at 3. It's 2.48 right now. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Keep them in prayers. They just came and took them away. My heart is like in my stomach. I'm one of those owners. Uh, sorry if you don't like that, but my dogs are my babies. They are my kids. I love them to pieces. And I hate that I don't get to be in there and see what's going on because you want to believe that, you know, vets treat your animals good and you know treat them the way that they would want their animals to be treated but that's not always the case and i have no idea what's going on back there how they're treating him or how he's reacting to anything and it just bothers me so bad um yeah i can't i can't stand it so i'm sitting in here very anxiously uh waiting for them to get done with him and call me and let me know what's going on because yeah, I'm freaking out right now. So, I guess I will uh, get off here and just patiently wait. Um, I'll let you guys know what they say when he gets um, back out. We'll talk to you soon. Well, as you can see, I am back home. And unfortunately, he has torn his ACL. Just what I was afraid of. Um, so he is going to have to get surgery because there's no fix for a torn ACL. Like they don't just go away. If it was like a minor tear, they can sometimes heal on their own with very strict um, guidelines of no playing, no roughhousing, you know, things like that. But he has unfortunately torn his ACL so there's no fixing that it's not just gonna go away so we are going to have to do surgery um, which is going to be about like I said 
$2,500. Um, I do work for a veterinary clinic, so I'm hoping that my boss will work with me somewhat to be able to afford this payment. Um, I'm not sure. I, it sounds like that they will. Um, they're very good people. But if not, I did set up a GoFundMe account and I will put in the link in the bio of this video. It's the first time I've ever made a GoFundMe account and the first time in my life I've ever asked for help with money. Um, but it's expensive, you know? I don't know, I personally don't know anybody that just has $2,500 to hand out. Um, I mean, unless you're rich, then good for you, but I'm just an average, <laughs> citizen like I don't have an extravagant amount of money like I make a normal amount of money and uh, $2,500 is a lot to just go away so at least I know what's going on he is at least now on pain medication and anti-inflammatory medication so he'll be a little bit more comfortable at least until uh, his surgery but yeah, all the prayers and the love is appreciated because it's going to be a lot to deal with. Um, it's going to be a long recovery process. He's just a puppy still. Like, I know he's almost two, but he is full-on puppy brain, puppy mode, goofball. And it's going to be really hard to keep him down and keep him not wanting to play in rough house with his uh, brother and sister. So... It's going to be a process, but hey, you just got to take one step at a time and get through it. You know, it's going to be a thing in the past soon and you just have to be positive and move forward, which is what I'm going to try and do. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you um, like this video. Please subscribe and become a part of our family. And thank you for watching. We'll talk at you soon. Um, I'll give a, a update on um, when the surgery will be and um, the whole process of that. I'll be making videos about the whole surgery um, before and after. So uh, yeah, it might be a couple days, but once I figure out when the surgery is going to be happening and all of that, uh, I'll make a video. So have a good day, guys. Talk to you soon.